All right, what's going on guys? Now it's time to actually get into the shared preferences class uh, to help us save this information into our settings menu or into our application so other activities can refer to that information later. Basically what the shared preferences is, is it's a room that our whole class can go into and, uh, or I'm sorry, our whole app can go into and look through all these different treasure chests. Now these treasure chests in the room are gonna be labeled, for example, checkbox, it's gonna be labeled name, or whatever information that we wanna to refer to, uh, it's gonna have a title on that treasure chest. Treasure chest, sorry, kind of uh, slurring my words here, didn't get much sleep last night. Um, but then we open up those boxes or those treasure chests, and then it'll tell us a value. Like, yeah, that treasure chest labeled checkbox, yeah, that's true, or it's false, that's what is going to be held within that box or it's going to tell us the name of the user um, so that think of it that way so what we're going to do is we're going to go into again this uh, shared prefs method that we set up create a shared preferences object and call it like SP or shared preferences and how we're going to set this up we're going to say preference manager um, down here and then we're going to say dot get default shared preferences referring to a context and the context that we're going to refer to is this um, so that will set up our shared preferences um, when we want to sh change the shared preferences we have to have an editor go in he's the guy you know that does the iris scan at the front door and he's like validated uh, you can change some stuff around so we need to create one of those guys as well so we're going to say editor we're going to call this edit at our import so how we set up our editors we're going to refer to the room that we're changing stuff around in the SP and we're just going to say edit and that will uh, give this guy the eyeballs that he needs to start changing things around within the treasure chest. The next thing that we have to do is we have to allow our editor to change the information that we want. So we're going to say edit and then we're going to say put, kind of like when we did put bundles or put information into a bundle when we were uh, passing information between two activities. Uh, it's kind of the same concept. We're going to put in some information and since we're working with again a boolean value we're going to put a boolean with a string argument one and two. For argument one, we're gonna to refer to the treasure chest that we wanna change. So we're gonna to refer to the key, again, that we're getting passed in within our first parameter. The value that we wanna edit within the treasure box is again the information that's getting passed along here. So uh, value, our second parameter. The next thing that our editor has to do is he's like, I did a dandy job today. I think everything is perfect. I'm going to validate and get out of here. I'm done, I'm committed to the task at hand, and uh, so that's what he has to do. He has to use the commit man command, and he's done. All of his work is done. So quickly, just to talk about what we did, uh, we have a button that saves our preferences. When that button's clicked down here, it uses the method that we just created in this tutorial, sets up what treasure box we want to mess around with, and also gives it a value and this is a boolean value, true or false, if our checkbox is checked or not. Um, and then it uses this method that we just created, passes those two parameters up. The key is the first parameter, or the title of our treasure chest. And the second parameter is the value, whether it be true or false. Then we set up a shared preferences, or the room that we're relating to, which is just going to be the default room um, for activity or application. And then we're going to create an editor for that room. He can edit some stuff around. And then we're going to put in the boolean values that we want, again referring to the treasure chest itself and also the value that we're referring to, and then we're going to commit to that. So now just to set up our other shared preferences, we can just copy this and paste it down here. The only thing that we need to change is instead of saying a put a boolean value, we want to put in a string value instead because again for this method we're saving the user name or some string information. So we don't want to save a boolean value in a string treasure chest. That wouldn't make sense. So we're just going to say put string and everything is pretty much the same. We have saved some information to our shared preferences. The next thing that we have to do is load the preferences and I'll show you guys that in the next toot. So thanks again for watching guys and uh, yeah, check out the next tutorial for sure. Later. Come on, subscribe. One less puppy will die.